Let's express 21 in binary, also called base 2. And we'll look at it two ways. So first, we could just take 21 and divide that by 2. That would give us 10.5. But Let's make it 10. We want whole numbers here. Take 10, divide that by 2. That's 5. 5 divided by 2 is 2.5, but we'll just use 2. So we have whole numbers. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So once we have these here, what we can do is if we have an odd number, we write 1. So for the odd numbers, we're going to write 1. And then if we have an even number, we write 0. And that actually gives us 21 in binary. It's 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So to recap, we took 21 and we divided it in half successively. So we had whole numbers. And then if it was odd, we wrote 1. Even we wrote 0. That works pretty well. But here's the way I like to think about it. First, we'll write the powers of 2. 2 to the first, 2 to the second. So that should be enough. Then we'll write the numbers in a base 10 system. 2 to the first is 2. 2 to the second is 4. Let's move this down some. So remember, we're trying to write 21 in binary. So we have 21. And 32 does not go into 21. Let's get rid of that. 16, that goes into 21. So we say, yes, it goes into 21. That's true. And we write 1 to show that that's true. Then we subtract 16, we get 5. 8 does not go into 5, that's false. Put a 0. 4 goes into 5, put a 1. And we subtract again, that gives us 1. 2 does not go into 1, that's not true. So that's false, we put a 0. We have this remainder, we just put the remainder at the end. So this, we're almost there, but we need to reverse this. This is in reverse order. So that means it's 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. 1, 0, 1, 0. 0, 1. And that's what we found before. And in fact, this is the same forward and backwards. But when you do it this way, you do need to reverse these numbers. That's two ways to write 21 in binary called base 2. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.